AWS has just released a brand new certification, the AWS Certified Generative AI Developer Professional. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Now, if you're new here, I'm Greg, the creator of Thoughtful Techie Cloud. And each week, I'm creating a video to help you navigate your AWS cloud and tech journey. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe right now. Now, the way I always like to start out is to give you a brief overview of what I call the AWS certification hierarchy. And where that starts is there's basically four different levels of AWS certifications. There's the foundational tier, and the foundational tier is where you can learn AWS cloud fundamentals and core concepts. And the nice thing is no prior experience is needed. So if you don't have a technical background, foundational certifications are a great place to start. The next tier is associate certifications. Associate certifications are going to go a notch above those foundational certifications. And this is where these certs will validate core AWS skills. And it's very helpful to have prior cloud or IT experience. Now, for the next tier are the professional certifications. These are some of the most challenging AWS certifications within the hierarchy. And in these certifications, you need to demonstrate mastery level advanced AWS architecture and solutions with a recommendation of two plus years of AWS experience. The new AWS certified generative AI developer fits right in here to this tier. And then lastly, when you get to this level, specialty certifications, you can take specialty certifications which go into a specific area now, I will mention the machine learning specialty will be retiring, but I wouldn't worry too much about it because not only do you have the AWS certified generative AI developer professional as a choice, you could also consider the AWS machine learning engineer associate right here, as well as the AI practitioner. So you have AI and ML certifications, the combination there of both, either in the foundational level the associate level or the professional level. One thing I wanted to point out is the generative AI developer professional certification is currently undergoing a beta phase. Because it's new, it's in beta. What does that mean? What this means is AWS can use beta exams to validate the performance of exam questions. You are among the first to be able to sit for these questions and to be able to get certified. Let's dive a little bit deeper into the certification. The generative AI developer professional is going to showcase your advanced technical expertise in building and deploying production ready AI solutions. This is going to be perfect for developers with two plus years of cloud experience looking to advance your career. For organizations investing in AI initiatives, this certification is going to provide a reliable way for you to identify and verify developers who can move beyond proof of concepts to build production grade ready generative AI solutions. That is the key. We don't want to just build prototypes. This is going to make sure that you are more likely to be able to produce production grade products. Here's some additional important details that you're going to need to know. Now you already know that this is going to be a professional level exam. To say that another way, professional level AWS exams are no joke. These things are challenging. So you need to be definitely prepared going into these things. I've got some more information on the preparation a little bit later in this video. Again, this is going to be a beta exam and the current exam duration is 204 minutes. I don't know who came up with that specific number, but I'm guessing it was somebody a lot smarter than me. So there's going to be 85 questions on the exam. You got 204 minutes to be able to go through them all. And those are going to either be multiple choice or multiple response questions. The beta cost for the exam is 150 bucks. Typically what I've noticed when a beta exam comes out, it typically runs a little bit more, uh, it's more cost effective than when the beta is over. So typically the pro certs go for like 300 USD. So the beta, this could be a good opportunity for you to give this a shot and just pay the 150 USD. For your testing options, you can use Pearson View. You can either go to a testing center or you can do the online proctor. Uh, I prefer to go to a testing center because the thought of somebody uh, looking at me on the camera when I'm doing the online proctor, I don't know, just makes me kind of 
nervous. And then the beta languages offered are going to be the English and Japanese. I want to go over some frequently asked questions and don't worry, I'm going to provide all the links to the material that I'm discussing in this video down in the description below. Very important question here is who should take this exam? The target candidate should have two or more years of experience building production grade applications on AWS. So if you have less than that, then you're really going to have to study uh, very detailed, get some hands-on labs to be able to build the associated skills to be able to sit for this exam. You need experience with AWS compute, storage, networking, understand AWS security best practices, identity management, AWS deployments, infrastructure, coding tools, familiarity with AWS monitoring and observability services, and understanding AWS cost optimization. Now, if you've taken other AWS certifications, you're probably going to be coming in with a nice baseline of knowledge already. If you don't have any of that, you might want to reconsider just sitting for this and coming up with a different game plan. Now, how will the AWS Certified Generative AI Developer help your career? It's going to position you there pretty good. Did you realize that one in four jobs now requires AI skills, according to the Wall Street Journal? And companies are definitely shifting to AI. If you haven't seen it, I'm not sure if you've had your TV off or you've shut down the internet because every day I'm waking up, I'm seeing this stuff. So definitely it's going to be a very valuable certification for you to obtain. Now, one of the questions I like is what certification should you earn before taking this exam? While AWS emphasizes that there are technically no prerequisites to this new exam, it would be a good idea if you had already had the AWS Certified AI Practitioner under your belt, the Certified Solutions Architect Associate, Certified Machine Learning Engineer Associate, and or the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate. If you came in there to this exam with all of those, I mean, you're already coming in there with a lot of strength. You don't have to. Uh, it's not a requirement that you do any of those as long as you're coming in with the skills, whether you've built them in some POCs, if you experiment it with bedrock. But if you haven't, you might want to slow your roll a little bit, back up, and take some of those other AWS certifications. Now, typically, in one of these videos, I would also recommend training that you can take. This is in beta, so the training at the time of this recording is a work in process. But I wanted to point your attention to this blog called AWS Expands the AI Certification Portfolio and Updates Security. I'll put this in the link as well. So there was an announcement, and what it talks about in here is that there will be an exam prep plan that will be provided. It'll be called the AWS Certified Generative AI Developer Professional Exam Prep Plan. It will be available on AWS Skill Builder, and the date that it's anticipated to be available is November the 18th of 2025. So if you're watching that video before that date, hang on tight, it's coming. If you're watching this video after that date, check out Skill Builder and look for that course. Now, what's great about these exam prep plans is that they include practice assessments with exam style questions. You get hands-on practice through one of AWS training tools called AWS Simulearn, and there'll be lessons that you can review for each domain for this exam. And the plan will also reference role-based training to refresh your AWS knowledge and skills. Let me know in the comments down below which AWS and ML certifications you already have and whether or not you're planning to take this new certification. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.